DJ, how's uh, how's the body feeling, and uh, what's the team spirits like and whatnot coming off the bye week? It was early this this year, you know, the bye, so it's been a while since you guys kind of hit someone other than uh, someone in a Terps uniform. Uh, well, one, my body feels fine. Uh, just got to relax this bye week. The team's fine. We just uh, we had good practices over the week, just to uh, just to keep the uh, body feeling good and just going out there and being able to be physical again. So coming up this week, we look to keep continue that. Central Florida team, you guys really had a good game with last year down there. Talk about their defense and what you have to do to win this week. Oh, uh, just to win this week, we gotta outplay them like we did last year. So. Just going back, watching the old film, it's something that we're just going to have to critique on what we could have did better. By week coming at a time, um, you know, due to injury where you guys had to make that quarterback change, where have you seen Cassini make strides and, you know, since he took over the mantle a few weeks ago? Where have you seen him improve? Uh, just having confidence in the receivers downfield and just him uh, just being having faith in the line just to hold up the block so he can uh, get through all his reads. Did you see yourself on the college pregame show this Saturday on your fantastic run from Towson? No, but people were telling me about it. I couldn't get to the channel fast enough to see it. <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> DJ, what uh, quality makes you DJ more? Uh, you know, is it your work ethic, your hands, your uh, what, what? What makes you such a, a receiver that's moved up the charts on Maryland's uh, career list? Uh, I would have to say everything, because everything, like from work ethic to uh, just me going out there and doing my thing, it's just like everything Everything comes together as one. So that's probably what makes up DJ more. But just going out there and, and the teammate, my teammates just having faith in me to just make plays over the over the course of the game. When you get a, when you catch a pass, is it absolutely, the coach said, you're, it's your determination to make it happen, to take it in the end zone as opposed to just, you know, uh, see what happens. What happens when you catch a pass? Where does your mind go? Uh, well, well, I look at it as uh, it's two parts to like the whole play for me. So it's the play that we actually get it, and then like if the ball is coming my way, if I catch it, then the, the next play starts for me to just like go execute and like go score a play and just not get tackled because I don't really like going down. So that's one thing. The current offense you guys run, you guys have had a preponderance of big plays, lots of big running plays and the like. Uh, yeah, how much of a point of pride is it for you guys, the wide receivers, to make those blocks downfield to turn what might be a 10 or a 15 yard gain into what winds up being a 60 or a 70 yard gain? Uh, that's the that's the main thing we focus on. Uh, been focusing on throughout the whole year, just blocking downfield because we know. At the second level, it's going to be someone there to try to stop the running back. So we just got to be in position to have that block so they can get sprung free and make a big play. Is it a point of pride, point of contest, where you come off the field and you say, hey, man, can you see me lay that guy down? Uh, <laughs> it is. We do have a contest, but it's for knockdowns, but not, not as much as like just getting in front of somebody. DJ, are you aware of how many guys miss you when you're making a play like you did against Towson or against uh, – against, uh, Nebraska last year? Uh, no, not really, because I'll be in the moment of making the, trying to make the play. So after I, once I go back and look at it, I, I count it and see. But are you always thinking about, I mean, are, are you are you thinking about that next move you have to make as, as the play develops? Like if you see a guy okay, or is it just natural? Like you're, you're not thinking, you're just in, uh, instincts are taking I just, it just naturally happens, so I say instincts. DJ, you, had, you, you said you guys have a contest for knockdowns. Yeah. Are you are you leading? No, I'm not winning. Uh, actually, Jaquil is winning. Uh, just him, just going hard and just like catching people off guard. He just knocked people down. So it's funny to watch on film, and it's it's not funny because I'm losing. So. <laughs> Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. You've been a member of the Champions Club every quarter, Coach says, no one else. Uh, what do you have to do to be to win that award each quarter, and is that a point of pride for you? Uh, well, you got to do everything right, like go to class, uh, don't be late for anything. Just every, all the little things you got to just do right. and. Uh, 
it's a sense of pride for me, yeah, because uh, I take time to like make sure I'm doing everything right. You guys are off to a two and zero start. You guys started four and zero last year. What's different? What 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 feels different this year with this team? Uh, just just the energy and the togetherness that we have. So like as a team, like we like stronger. We have a stronger bond together. Like so, it's something that like grew from last year, and that was that. It's like well put together now. That is like a strong bond that we have going on. Just from going against them in practice past couple of years. What kind of intensity and determination does Josh Woods bring to the secondary? Say that again. <laughs> what kind of determination and intensity does Josh Woods bring to the secondary and kind of going up against him in practice? Uh, well, I don't really go against him as much, but like uh, I've seen him like grow. Like his confidence has grown over the time he's been here, and like. He's more physical than I than I seen him, so that's something I I seen, but I haven't really gone against him. DJ, you have a streak going of consecutive games catching passes. Is that something that you you think about in terms of you want to make sure that you are a presence every game? That you, you and, and obviously you've got no third great start this year. Uh, I don't I don't really know how to answer the question, but because I, I don't really. Yeah, I can't really answer the question, but I know what you're trying to say. It's like the catches come when the plays are called. So right. if I'm if the ball comes my way, I'm I'm gonna have to make the play and make a play out of me catching the ball. So yeah, that's something. What do you think when they call a jet sweep? Does it come into your mind that you like running the ball, or is it something that uh, you're more comfortable as a pass receiver? Uh, I'm just comfortable doing whatever the coaches ask. So if it that's gonna jet sweep like Towson. Uh, I just run with it and then just go with the play. Hey, just catching the ball is, is a, I mean, running the ball is a plus other than catching the ball like down the field. I can make your hands clap.